Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagude Imo TV. I am Morire Rebila Lawam. First are the major headlines for the national news. 2023 presidency, Buhari predicts victory for the APC. Tinumbu speaks on pastors, bishops present at Chetima's unveiling. Bandit terrorists kill 43, abduct many in Sokoto, Katsina, Taraba. We were warned not to speak to media, Kaduna threatened attack victims. Bread makers begin strike over rising costs. And on sports, Super Falcons protest, Buhari approves funds for players' allowances. Now, the news in detail. President Muhammad Buhari on Wednesday predicted victory for the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Tinumbu in the 2023 presidential election when he declared that, God willing, you are going to win. The president stated these when he received the vice presidential candidate of the APC, Kasim Shetima, at the presidential villa Abuja. Shetima had visited the president shortly after he was unveiled by the leadership of the party and the party's presidential candidate, Bola Tinumbu. A statement by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, said the president was very happy with the choice of the former governor of Brno State as Warren Meth. According to the statement, the president struck a chord of humor on Wednesday at the state house while responding to a flurry speech by Kashim Shetima, the Ronan Meth and vice presidential candidate of the APC, saying, I will respond to your speech when I'm handing over to you and your boss. I wish you the best. Your consistency at the party is very respectful. You served two terms as governor and finished well. You have kept in touch with your base. The presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has spoken about the Nigerian pastors and bishops present during Wednesday unveiling of his running myth, Senator Kashim Shetima in Abuja. The presence of men clad in clergy robes at the unveiling ceremony of Kashim Shetima as the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC had elicited outrage on social media, Daily Gist report. Since the pictures of the supposed clergy members surfaced on social media, many Nigerians have been dissecting and analyzing the suitability of their graphs. The ruling party has been at the receiving end of the flag with critics alleging that the individuals are imposters hired to create the impression of an acceptance of the Muslim Muslim ticket by the Christian community. But in a statement issued by his campaign organization and made available to Daily Gist on Thursday, Tinumbu fired back at critics who accused his team of hiring street archers and dressing them as Christian clerics, accusing the opposition of cashing in on the development to stare unnecessary attacks on APC Director, Media and Communication of the Tinumbu Campaign Organization, TCO, Bayo Ononuga, also described as unwarranted distractions, the viral pictures and videos of some clergy men and women at the unveiling. Concerning insecurity, terrorists and bandits have killed at least 43 people, many of whom were farmers in Sokoto, Taraba and Kastina State. Daily Trust report that the bandits gone down four farmers and abducted seven sea orders at different villages in Sabumbrini local government area of Sokoto State between Sunday and Monday. Sources revealed that the farmers were attacked while working on their respective farmlands. A farmer, the chairman of the local government, Idris Denchadi, said 70 farmers were abducted by the assailants. Given the breakdown, he said 19 were abducted from Samae village and 11 each in Mazau and Marina villages. He added that seven children of al Aji Malam were abducted from Katume village, while eight persons were kidnapped from Garki and Yaragua villages. Then Chadi noted that 15 farmers were abducted from Ungwalili and seven from Dengao. He stated that one Kamaji was killed at Samai village and son of al Aji Aiwa was killed at Dengao. The member representing Sabombrini local government area, Aminu Boza, said that the bandits attacked a boss along Sabombrini Goroyo Road 
on Monday and abducted all its passengers, with the exception of a two-year-old girl. He said the baby had been handed over to the police for key. The passengers were almost women and were said to be returning from the wedding ceremony. As Nigerians continue to agonize over the fate of travelers who were kidnapped on board the ill-fated Kaduna-bound train in March, there are strong indications that the few lucky ones who have been released will avoid any media interviews for the sake of their safety. Out of 61 persons that were kidnapped by the terrorists, only 19 have regained freedom so far after paying to the excess of millions of Naira. Politics that just crew that visited Kaduna to get fresh and explosive information about the experience of the released victims were however greeted with a lot of reluctance from the victims and their respective families. A family member of two of the victims who were siblings told correspondents on ground with the condition of anonymity that are were releasing that they were severely warned not to speak to journalists about their experience. The kidnappers added that their safety would not be guaranteed if they exposed their secrets and modus operandi to members of the public through the media. The relatives added that they had to part with money of counts which they can't relocate or per se say the exact figure to get their family members released from the kidnappers then. He however allowed politics digest team to see the victims who could not say much because they were yet to recover from the trauma of their experience back in the day. The Association of Breadmakers under the ages of Premium Breadmakers Association of Nigeria, PBAN, have begun a four-day warning strike over the rising cost of baking materials. The duration of the strike action will be extended if the government fails to intervene. Barbara Thomas, the association spokesperson, said in a statement sent to Premium on Tuesday. Mr. Thomas said their bakeries are incurring a huge loss due to the continuous increase in baking materials and diesel. He added that operating in an environment such as this is no longer sustainable. Bread is a staple food and one of the cheapest grab and go food that is available for both the poor and rich. It therefore behoves the federal government to be mindful of these and ensure the survival and sustainability of the industry, he said. The association sought the government's intervention to stop the 15% with development levy on wheat imports. And finally, sports story. President Muhammad Buhari has approved funds for the payment of Super Falcons allowances and match winning bonuses at the ongoing 2022 Women Africa Cup of Nations Wafcon in Morocco. The approval came after the women national team players boycotted shadow training on Wednesday in Casablanca, Morocco, ahead of the third place match against Zambia in agitation for the allowances and winning bonuses running into millions of naira. Leadership sports gathered that the Falcons were only paid part of the camp allowances, while the Wafcon qualifying bonuses and tournament allowances were yet to be paid, which forced the players into snubbing training, insisting they must be paid before returning to the pitch. Special Assistant to the Minister of Youth and Sports Development on Multimedia, Toyi Ibitoye, confirmed to Leadership Sport that President Muhari has given approval for the intervention fund requested by the Sport Ministry for the payment of the Super Falcons allowances, saying the Ministry of Finance was already working on processing and releasing the funds. The money issues are being sorted. Mr. President has given approval for the intervention fund requested by the Ministry for the Super Falcons. The Ministry of Finance is working on process and releasing the funds as soon as possible. That concludes the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, a quick recap of some major headlines. Buhari predicts victory for the APC. Tinumbo speaks on pastors, bishops present at Shetimis on Venin, and finally sports. So after Super Falcons protest, Buhari approves funds for players' allowances. For more updates on our YouTube channel, The Anon East, Babata Gide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access all of our broadcasts as it drops. On Facebook, Bagide Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagide Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of events and functions, both outdoor. Kindly dial the phone number streaming on your screen for other placements only.
Thank you for watching. I am Maury Ray Repila Lawal. Good afternoon.